yeah, we're here at Bukowski, at yeah. Box Park in Croydon, just opened this weekend. And we've just ordered some food, but we had to kind of take into account that you're pescatarian. I know, we had some trouble, didn't we? Um, we got yeah. some pickles we on got the table. We got some pickled veg here, which we are pickled about fish. to try. Want to try some? Try one? Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know what, what this is. Like, yeah, I don't know what it is. It looks like watermelon, but I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't think it's watermelon. No. It looks like kind of... Watermelon is pink. <laughs> it is pink. Oh, it's from a glasses and looking at Is it good? Yeah, but I don't know what it is. I don't know what that is. Uh, as long as it's good, that's all. But it's not bad. Well, it's nice. Yeah, it's pickled. But um, yeah, so how long have you been pescatarian for? Um, since I was about three. Three. I feel like my dad said something to me about how animals die and you know get cooked when I was three. <laughs> and I think from then I was like, I just don't want to eat them. But um, yeah, and I just stuck to it since then. Have you ever lapsed? Maybe once when I was ten and I went to like a Jamaican christening and ate some chicken, but since then no. Wow. <laughs> Didn't you eat a bit of sausage once? <laughs> <laughs> when I was like that. <laughs> That was, was another time that we don't young. talk about. <laughs> no, I was young and naive. I am a strong. No, no, she actually. I was. actually am. Maybe I have been in and out. Like I love chicken. <laughs> but she'll be like, she'll see some sad pig on an advert and be like, I I've just given her a pork recently. <laughs> and how long have you lasted so far? Like, Two months. Two months. Which is really good. Yeah, it's really but good. Christmas and I want to kind of dwindle it down. So what, do, is the only meat you eat chicken then? No. Okay. <laughs> no you eat beef. It's not lamb, cool. beef. At the moment, and eventually I'll cut out red. Okay. I do want to try, because I do feel guilty, and I think if you feel like that, you should go with that. You know I mean? Have you had a chance to look around Box Park, Croydon, yet? Yeah, it's huge. Like, I thought it was just going to be some boxes, but it's massive, it's amazing. Like, yeah, because yeah, you guys are going on stage in about an hour, is it? Do you normally eat before you go on stage, or is that a no, bit weird? Amy's yeah. like, I can't oh. eat, because literally, for some reason, with all the excitement and the slight like, nerves, I'll end up like just vomiting it out. Really? Yeah, but not because I'm like, <laughs> not because I'm really sick because I'm so scared. It's just because it's only when I eat greasy food. Yeah, but it doesn't chips. mix Don't with my excitement at all. Can you tell when you get out there if the crowd's going to be like a good one, or sometimes um, can you tell if they they're going to need a bit more kind of winning over? Yeah, sometimes like sometimes. if you're not like headlining, <laughs> you can kind of tell. Yeah. But we just kind of go out there and do our thing. I think today looks cool. Everyone looks up for it. Yeah. The good vibe. Oh, Ooh. food. Chicken. Wow, look at that. I like chicken. Oh. You want the chicken? I give Amy the chicken. There's a lot of Here chicken. I love chicken. Yeah, Rips? Yeah. Here you are. Wow. <laughs> so, when you go on stage, like, what's your aim? Like, how do you want to kind of make the audience feel? Just lively and empowered. And liberated and. Just to feel good, just to join in, you know. Like, I think a lot of the time people turn up at gigs and don't know, like, how to react necessarily because there's also always that awkward feeling at first yeah. people stand there like we don't know this band especially when you're unknown bands so it's like you know, yeah we don't know the song we like... don't know the songs but then they get into it and have a really good time so we just want people to feel like just loose and they can be themselves and just have a good time period do you know what I mean you said in the past you want your gigs to be inclusive yeah what do you mean by that exactly we just want literally like just a mix of people you know, people are so like genre specific and they want to pigeonhole everything. We don't want just one type of fan base. We want uh, just a mix, you know, like anyone and anything goes, really. There's so much segregation, yeah. so we just want everything to come together and just have a good time. I mean, we did a gig at Afropunk not too long ago and like, it was the most diverse crowd we've ever yeah. seen. It was amazing. It was just like, all, for that. all different, like, people dressed differently and like, just everyone was different so different. Cultures. Different cultures, yeah. We should uh, we try should. I want to try this. <laughs> I was about to say, I don't have a fork, but I have one, I know. What's the kind of sign of a good gig? How do you know that it's gone well? If people move. <laughs> really? <laughs> or if people we move. feel good on stage as well, like, yeah. even if it's not particularly yeah. lively, but we have having, yeah. like, the craziest time. I think those the are sound, the as well. like, the sound guy and the sound really, like, dictates whether we... Yeah. A, I guess that's for most artists as well. But, um, yeah, great sound and a buzzy audience. I mean, we've played to, like, five people recently and played to, like, hundreds of people, like, the next recently, day. yeah, so it's a good contrast, and both can be equally the same. We had this dead gig, and um, we just got to know all the audience's names. It was like, so, so there's only five of us here. What's your name? It was Billy, there was Joe, 
there might have been a mark in a day. But <laughs> like, and it was really good. We had a really good time. And then we played like Afro Punk literally like the next day, which was like obviously like I don't know how. Um, Maybe five hundred or something. Maybe more. And that was amazing, you know, also, but just different. What do you want like Nova Twins to stand for? When people hear that name, what do you want the kind of first thing that pops in their head to be? I think just diversity and like think out of the box and just for people just to be able to do and feel what they like without feeling any pressure or judgment, you know what I mean? And that might sound slightly cheesy, but it's just true. With you being pescatarian, where do you like to go out and get food? Like, well, when we're on the go, I always go into Marks and Spencers and we get the prawn dip, <laughs> don't we? It's like this prawn dip, which has like this what's it's it? the best chili sauce. Food, isn't it? Yeah, it's like chili sweet Better sauce. than Burger King, McDonald's. So we get that or That's like really nice. <laughs> corn mints. Corn chicken pieces and pasta, love pasta. Is there anything that's bad for your voice that you find like you shouldn't eat? Just alcohol. Ice cream is bad. People say that, but I always eat like, I just, it's fine. I think people generally think dairy and anything that can create some mucus is going to damage your vocals or, you know, make it harder to sing. But I think it helps a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit. If you'd just come up off stage and you felt like it was the gig of your life, like, and you thinking like, you know what, I'm going to go out and go out for food and have anything I want, what would you pick? What would be the ultimate, like, reward meal? Oh, like a Thai, like a pad Thai or like a Massaman curry. Mm -hmm. Pad so Thai. Like Aki Oh, yeah. Depends where we are. A pizza, I mean, it really depends. The wrap. Or like <laughs> Indian curry. We what's do your... eat Indian curries a lot. <laughs> and what, what's like your hangover food? I've got a bit of a hangover today. What should I be having? Egg. 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 Really? Yeah. Fried egg. egg and bagel with like some cheese on top, lactose cheese. So that's what I should get on the way home. We're all just making egg on toast yeah. in the morning. Salt and like. pepper. <laughs> yeah. It's so easy and quick. We've gotten really good at it as well. Like the yolk is so perfect, we Perfection. make it like first. If you want eggs, ask us. I know, we always Snapchat our eggs. And you will have the best runny yolk. Next time I've got a hangover. No slime. Well, yeah, thank you very much for chatting to us. Thank you for thank having you. us. Here at Box Park, uh, have a good gig, and yeah, we can get like doggy bags for this, and you can have yeah. it afterwards. Yeah, I might take this and the chicken. I'm taking the chicken. Yeah. And I, does anybody want the it ribs? It won't get wasted. <laughs> yeah, have the ribs. they're not for me. <laughs>